Adobe Illustrator CC 2015 now has a newer feature called charting or charts. Now these are not something that are brand new in Illustrator. We've had them for a while, but we now have something called Illustrator CC charts or CC charts. To be able to use this, you need Illustrator CC 2015. And if you go to the preferences under Windows, you're gonna to go to edit. You're gonna see what's called technology previews. This is technically a technology preview, which essentially means that it's not fully baked and they're looking at it and kind of letting us work with it while they're creating it. So if you make sure it's on, you can click OK, restart Illustrator if it wasn't on, and you're all set to go. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to give you a little bit of understanding of how these work. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this little chart here and get rid of it and show you how we can do this. If I go to the CC Charts tool, come out here. What you can do is you can either click or click and drag. I'm going to click and drag and say, here's my chart right there it's gonna put a little placeholder. Now currently, we can only create a certain kind of chart called a scale by value chart. That basically just takes icons or images and puts them in there and scales them according to, well, data you put into the chart. What we can do is we can put our own imagery in here if we want to. I've got a little coffee cup over here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that coffee cup and drag it onto the chart and you're gonna notice that if you use vector artwork, this could be stuff from CC Market. It could be stuff you created. It really can't contain complex things or raster data yet. I'm going to drop it on there. You can see it replaces it. That's kind of cool. So this is what we can do. Now I can go in if I want to and start to adjust this. If I go to my direct selection tool, white arrow, and click on content here, I could maybe apply a style. I could apply a color. I could apply different formatting options. I'm going to go to my eyedropper and sample color here. You can see I'll sample a latte. Maybe I'll do the same thing to this cup, do a little sample of Americano there. And I'm just trying to make it so that we're differentiating between each one of these cups and the data we're gonna use eventually. If I click back on it, you'll see that we have a bunch of options here. Now, because this is a technology preview, it's not letting us do a lot right now. You can see right here, there's, matter of fact, only one kind of chart. You can duplicate the chart if you want to, that's it or you can do what's called edit on Creative Cloud. Now, the first time you guys create one of these charts, it's actually gonna show what are called quick assist screens. Let me show you this because you're gonna see this. It's gonna look like this. So the first time you do this, it's gonna put this out here and it's gonna show you a little bit about how this works. I can always dismiss this if I want to and close it up. Let me scroll down a bit here and see if I can get to it. Yeah, of course, my screen is too small to do this. All right, there we go. I'll move back out here. Now, if we want to, we can start to edit the data in the chart. In order to do that, we're gonna edit on Creative Cloud. Now, this requires an internet connection. We can't edit the data here in Illustrator yet, and who knows if we ever will be able to. Once you choose Edit on Creative Cloud, you're gonna notice that in my Libraries panel over here, it's actually gonna add this thing as a chart. So I'm gonna click on Edit on Creative Cloud, and if you look on the right over there, it's gonna add it, there it is. It's considered SVG now because it's in a library, we can pull it into InDesign and Illustrator and Photoshop that is CC as a matter of fact, okay? Now you can see that I've got my content out here. Now, unfortunately, my browser's a little small here to be able to see all this and I can't really scroll too well, but I'll scroll just a bit to see if I can get it. You can see a preview to chart right here and we can also see what's called the data. If I come to the right over here, we have our chart options. You can do things like set it to scale. You can stretch them. Just do different things if you want to. We can also come out here and maybe I want to align all these. So I'm going to choose flow, scroll down a bit, and set a direction and alignment. And you can see a little bit of where I'm getting to here. There we go. It looks a little bit better. Now, as far as data is concerned, I'm going to click on data here. And it's going to take us to what kind of looks like an Excel spreadsheet. You can, if you want to, bring in text files or data in text files like CSV, uh, XLS, XLS, X, if you want to. If I hover over the plus here, you'll see all the different file formats you can bring into. Or we can go out here and just edit this. So if I have my own determination of what each one of these means, I can start to edit this. Now you'll notice that on the right over there, it's actually changing the preview for me. There we go. Now I want to add another row here. So I'm going to add another value and say something like, you know, five you'll notice if I click away that it's not gonna change the preview. What we need to do is we need to make sure that any data we want 
is actually applied. So what I do is I shift click between the different data cells here and click apply and it'll add it to the actual chart you can see on the right over there. Now we can if we want to do things like this. We can put in information that maybe doesn't show in the chart. Okay, so I can type in my, you know, my key here if you will. Type in like other. And I don't have this set in here as apply simply because I don't want it to show in the chart and this wouldn't anyway. You also notice some shortcutting here. You can click on this little show more options. And if you were to be able to see this, you could see that if I, let me see if I see it, let me scroll down, of course not. Uh, I could see like insert, delete, sort, do different things with the data itself. So we can add our own data. We can go in and sort it. We can pull in a document if you want to. And once we're all done, I can click on save. It's gonna save it. Now what it's doing is syncing with my Creative Cloud library. If I go back over to Illustrator, Take a look, it'll take a second. There we go, it's been synced. I could now drag this thing to any application that we can work with libraries. And that would be Illustrator, InDesign, and Photoshop. Now this is still vector data, so what I can do is I can go in and make it a little bit bigger, do something to it. There we go, and I'm done. I can even go in and start to edit further if I want to, making additional changes to this, change the artwork at any time, and I've got myself a chart. You're gonna see that this is a technology preview. So it's something that's starting to come on and it's kind of early game, if you will. But we're gonna see a lot more changes and a lot more we can do going forward with these charts.